Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm your truly the Nate Monster here for another Geeking Out video. And here today, guys, going to be talking about some of my order lists, pretty much. Like, I've gotten a lot of people asking, Nate, what does your order list look like? Like, what do you have ordered right now? What are you looking to get? Um, and they're, they're always asking me, like, are you going to army build this? Are you going to army build that? And are you getting this? Are you getting that? And I'm like, you know what? Let me share with you guys what's my order list um, to date, uh, up to date right now for the Star Wars version, the Star Wars section of my order list because i also have a marvel dc which i'm melding together and any other miscellaneous figures i'm putting with the marvel stuff but this is pretty much all star wars figures at this point and uh i'm probably going to be doing an updated video every once a month once a month to show off what other figures i'm looking to get you know that includes the newer figures that were released or older figures that have not pre-ordered yet that I haven't put my money in yet so uh, that's that's how it's gonna work. But anyway, guys, I uh, love uh, love for you guys to uh, those of you who have not uh, subscribed or uh, pretty much uh, half of y'all uh, do watch my videos have not subscribed yet. So I would like it, love it if you guys want to join up the Geeking Out Squad. Like, comment, subscribe. That helps out the channel, helps out the videos, especially those who do watch and do enjoy my videos. I thank you guys for liking and commenting i love hearing your comments reading your comments and just you know conversating with you guys about what's going on with the hot toys realm or world but anyway guys let's get right into it and to start things off it is the freaking general grievous now a lot of you are probably wondering nate this is not freaking hot toy well <laughs> you are definitely right but the thing is, until Hot Toys get get up their lazy asses to make a freaking Hot Toys General Grievous, this will this will do. And like I said before, guys, I made my complaints about this figure because the original General Grievous for 250 from 2013 was one of the worst freaking figures of all time. Okay, even though it looks great. The freaking body was freaking deteriorating, breaking apart. The joints didn't last. People were posing them in, in weird directions just to make it work. I'm just saying, guys, I was a little bit ticked off that nowhere in the description said this was an updated figure. And we went through it. But thanks to Sideshow's uh, stream team, they did uh, uh, let us know that this is a 2.0 and not a reissue. So this is not a true reissue. This is a 2.0 with updated body. They looked at the original. They they realized their mistakes and added the joints. Now, what really would have sold me for trusting Sideshow is if they said that the legs were die cast. I don't care about anything else about the figure. It's just the legs. That was the worst thing about the figure was the legs. The legs couldn't support the weight of this damn figure. And that's why I think the die cast would have done nicely for the legs maybe it's the maybe the, the joints update i'll please update these joints because i already pre-ordered this so i i, I but i did add a hundred dollars off this freaking figure okay i use a, the war points and 25 dollar coupon and for those of you who are asking nate how do you get the coupons how you get so many coupons well because i'm always ordering from sideshow that's one thing. Hell, I, I, I get coupons whenever I'm either pre-ordering or adding a new figure that's uh, that pretty much in stock into my order list. And I usually get a coupon on the same week or the next day. But then I also get a coupon whenever my figure arrives at home and pretty much goes through the 30-day uh, warranty window. So that's how, because I, I think the thing is I keep pumping money into Sideshow. They keep sending me freaking coupons. And that's the reason why I keep getting freaking coupons. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, pretty much uh, the end for General Grievous. Uh, that's what I wanted to share about Grievous. I'm hoping that the joints are good. And also this window, this freaking small window. I don't know what's going on. but uh, And also it's August to September. So this is the third batch. I ordered mine through the third batch. So there's three batches so far. It started, um, I, I think, around June. It ended up being uh, towards August. Now September. This is the third batch. All right, the next one on the list is the Transport Trooper. I am just getting... Sorry. As for the Transport Trooper, I'm only getting one. I would have liked it if, if this figure ended up having maybe a, a Pedro Pascal head sculpt or a Bill Burr head sculpt. But 
this would have never been 220. And I, I don't know. Trans, I don't know. Uh, Hot Toys. Uh, this is pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Hot Toys just gave us the bare minimum. Not me not much accessories. The only reason why I'm made just just I'm just picking up one is because the body is pretty much the Mud Trooper. Is literally the colors of the Mud Trooper. So I have an extra head sculpt of uh, Solo uh, from the, the Solo Star Wars story, and I'm 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 probably gonna use that head sculpt on. Uh, this body without the without the cape and anything because there is a moment with uh, Solo where he's uh, with uh, Chewbacca and he has no armor, no cape, anything, no helmet, and he's running around with his head sculpt. You know, his face exposed. So that's the reason why I'm just gonna get one. I'm gonna just use that body for my extra head sculpt of um, of Adrian or I forgot his, the freaking actor's name, but the Solo head sculpt. All right, the next one is the Assault Tank Commander. Now for 230, that's a bit much. This should have been 220, but I understand Sideshow needs to make their cut. But it's still in the safe route for army building. But I'm only gonna get one of these. Uh, I might get two, maybe, maybe get two, but I'm sitting with one. We're sitting with one because there's other troopers out there that deserve more of my time and money uh, for army building. So, I can't army build everybody. But, I might just get one and get this with the mud troop, uh, with the transport trooper. Hell, I might get two of these. Because, the figure does look nice. And especially with that freaking Rogue One Stormtrooper. So, I, I might get... I might get... Yeah, I might get another one. I might get another one. It looks great, though. It does look great. Alright, the Shore Trooper Squad Leader. Hell yeah, guys. You know you had to pick this one up. Everybody's been asking for the Store Trooper. And now, now, this is not the original release one. I think that was a Store Trooper Commander, I think. Well, from what I remember. But this was a Squad Leader. That was a Commander, I think. But the, pretty much the blue uh, pretty much encases a lot more of the front of the chest with the Commander. But this one, however, is just a Squad Leader. And he still looks great. It still does the same effect. Now, that figure is still selling for like $500. And I'm so surprised about that. But I'm guessing because, you know, it's not the squad leader. It's a different paint job. But with with what we've seen by, and the, the you know, the Andor show, Casey and Andor show, there is more short troopers in the works. So we might see the one with the, the commander look. So, or the captain, a short trooper captain. I think it's a captain. I think the blue, the, the, the one with the covers, the blue a lot more, that thing that's captain. I am getting two of these for now. I might get a third because I'm getting a lot more of the freaking short trooper grunt so i might get three of these right three of these with three short trooper command uh, squad leaders and oh my god hot mandalorian did the lord's work and gave us gave hot toys the opportunity to bring us these mandalorian figures baby oh my god yes i i just can't freaking believe it when this happened man the internet broke for a minute um even though the price isn't that great on it at the moment it it's still there for good army building if you use your coupons right. So I just can't wait for this. Okay, the Tuscan freaking Raider. All right, guys, say what you will about the Tuscan Raider. I know this two fifty is ridiculous. Um, I I wish it was a little lower. I think I think two thirty would have been fine. Wish I'm gonna be using coupons on this. I'm gonna if I'm gonna get two of these, I'm gonna be using coupons all day on these two. But I'm planning to get one, but I might get two for the different looks. Because look, you are getting two different looks with this Tustin Raider. So I might, I might have one without the belt and one with just the the, the, the pouch's vest. Uh, let me see. Let me bring them up. Uh, they're, they're supposed to be a group. There we go. You see, one doesn't have the uh, the belt. One has the the all these extra pouches and then the uh, the, the Gaffy gun there. The, the, the rifle, the Gaffy rifle. The Gaffy Six. So, uh, pretty much, that's what they're running. So, I like I said, I might just get two for the, the two different looks. I'm not gonna get, get third. That'd be overkill. But that's on you. If you guys want to recreate your, um, your 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 slaughter of the Tuscan Raiders with Anakin freaking Skywalker. Okay, what's the next one? Kylo Ren. Yeah, this was my newest pre-order. I I did not pre-order this when it when it first came out. 
because rightfully so that head sculpt is freaking garbage <laughs> not the head sculpt but the, the way they designed it because it looks like the, the the original head sculpt from uh, uh from the the, the last jedi does it, it just didn't turn out right something the paint applications that the prototype was was oh my god what the hell but at least you got the helmet though to cover that damn face but luckily the freaking head sculpt came out perfected and they came out perfected the hair the head sculpt everything was beautiful for that figure when they released it uh with the final production photos and that's the reason why i'm picking it up and you know thanks to thanks to hot toys for perfecting that figure because that's a re another reason why i'm picking up the ray to go with my kylo you know and i say what you will about the ray i know i know i know ray's head sculpted blah 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 but it's better than what we got with the prototype, and also we got so many good accessories with that freaking figure. Not gonna lie. I swear, man, that figure is gonna become a grail just because of the damn accessories. The next one is the Chorus on Guard. I'm sorry I have these all mixed up because I, as I was pulling them out from my order list, I didn't care about the placement of the organization. The Chorus on Guard. Perfect for army building. The only problem with that 220 price is it worth army building? Because there's no Commander Fox. There's no Palpatine. The only thing you got right now to work with this is Darth Maul. Because uh, they, they, were, they were pretty much escorting Darth Maul. Until Hot Toy delivers the Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. What are you going to do with the Coruscant Guard? You know? See? They're, 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 es they're, 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 they're escorting Darth freaking Maul. So that's pretty much what you can do. And the pre-orders aren't that great with this right now. Because... The, the, these, the, the unfortunately, the Coruscant Guard are accessory pieces to another figure, kind of like what the the Royal Guards are with Palpatine. You need those accessory figures. You don't have your Commander Fox yet. You, you don't have the Palpatine Revenge of the Sith yet. So there is still time. I'm getting two of these. I don't need more. To no more, no less, as uh, Yoda would say. I'm just getting two. Just getting two. The Dev Watch Mandalorian. Now, this this has been down the pre-orders, but I am getting two of these because of the interchangeable ar armor pieces. You could have your own different look of the Mandalorian Death Watch, and this would look great with your Heavy Mando and uh, uh, Bo-Katan uh, squad leader squatting up. You know what I mean? That this this and this, this figure is freaking beautiful. Not gonna lie, man. This uh, I, I think people are passing this up, but like I said. The Mandalorians and Boba Fett's, they do so well after the resale market. So, all right, the next one is the Incinerate Stormtrooper. Now, uh, the Incinerate Stormtrooper has not been rising uh, quite a bit. It's been doing okay, but uh, I think you still get this for uh, for a good, a decent price right now. But I could this one, I could definitely see this one, this one go up with the Mustard Trooper. Well, the uh, the motor trooper slash uh, artillery trooper. Now that one with this one paired together, it's gonna be a freaking beautiful thing, man. And also with the commander stormtrooper along with it, the rogue one stormtrooper. I only got one of these. I'm not was looking to get two. Just got one. And with all the Grogu's we're getting, I could recreate that moment with him and Grogu, where he just sends that blast at the freaking incinerator stormtrooper. So, okay. So heavy infantry Mandalorian. The signs were there, baby. The signs were there that this figure was selling out. Like, it sold out already overseas. So, right now, this is the this is one of, me, one of my favorite grails to have. Like, it, it's going to rise up in price. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you only have one freaking salute moment. Whatever. Uh, Hee-haw, command, uh, commander or captain. But whatever. But the thing is, guys, I really enjoyed that moment with the Rocketeer uh, send-off. From heavy infantry Mando to OG Mandalorian, and I love that 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 bro, the brotherly banter uh, uh, at the at the very beginning of Episode Three, and also when he came in to save the day with his Mandos to save uh, Grogu and uh, OG Mando, or you know Beskar Mando, then Jared, man, that was freaking beautiful, bro, freaking beautiful. One of my favorite moments from the show, and definitely a piece I love. I only got one of these, so that's all I need. That's all I need. And whoever got multiple of these are selling them for big money. Congratulations. So the Deluxe Boba Fett. Now, right out the bat, guys, I'm getting two of these. I'm getting the two two-packs. 
one 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 uh, to keep and display with my other Star Wars figures, and another one to have signed by Tomorrow Morrison one day, <laughs> or to, signed by Tomorrow Morrison and have, have one signed by um, uh, Logan. I I forgot I forgot I, 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 his name is escaping me, but Logan uh, who played Boba Fett, the young Boba Fett. This will be freaking perfect, man. Oh, my God. I, I love this two-pack so much, guys. This figure, bro. The accessories. The two-pack. The head sculpt. Perfection, man. Wow, guys. Oh. And then a lot of people like to complain about this damn figure. But I'm like, come on, guys. Why, why you got to complain about this figure? This figure is freaking perfection. They, they did so well with the Tomorrow More head, head sculpt. They can literally drop so many figures with that head sculpt. It's not even funny. Cody... Oh my god, man. But as far as this Hesco is concerned, I don't know. They, we, we might not see this Hesco again. He might grow his hair back or his, he won't be as scarred up in the Book of Boba Fett. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, as of right now, I do like this look. I do love the, the two-pack that we get with the Phoenix Boba Fett. So who else is on the list? Okay, Echo from Hot Toys. Bruh. Echo. Now I do love the scarredness, the 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 the, the torturedness of Echo's head sculpt here, because it's it's pretty much Tamar Morrison. But as he, if he was sickly, he was more of a droid than man. It this is a perfect damn figure for from Echo right now. Like literally, I love the way they 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 have so many ways that Tamar Morrison head sculpt is just crazy. How they're turning so many ways for that figure. There, there are ways where they're, they're having so many, so many applications for that head sculpt. They could do so many things with it, and it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy how things are progressing with that damn head sculpt. It's not, it's not even funny. Hell, man, they're doing so many ways, man. They're turning the freaking hunter head sculpt, and that's the problem. I, I see with Hot Toys right now, is how far are they gonna go with this head sculpt? Like, I want the whole Bad Bash gang to get this head sculpt, man. Get their own proper head sculpts. But the last one I do see happening is just Wrecker. Wrecker and Omega, and that's it. I don't see anybody else. But maybe because of the sales with what's going on with Echo, which he, he is on the bestsellers, on top bestsellers, and with the Bad Batch doing so well, I don't know, man. We might see the whole gang. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh, my God. Poor Lando Carrasian. Nobody wants Mr. Colt 45, baby. Nobody wants him. And also, this would have been such a great opportunity to show off the Bestman Han. I don't know why they didn't throw Bestman Han into the mix. This would have sold so much better if they showed Bestman Han, at least in the promo shots. They showed freaking Boa Fett. They showed, Bo they showed Darth Vader. But nobody else. Nope. Okay, so Hoff Leia. Okay, Hoff Leia without... This, uh, this is Hoff Leia. A lot, a lot of people are saying, are they going to throw another Leia? No, they're gonna, not going to throw another Leia at us. That's freaking Hoff Leia without uh, her freaking jumpsuit, her white jumpsuit, without the, the 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 vest, okay? And people have removed the vest before. So I don't think they're going to do that with um, well, with Leia. A lot of people are saying they might throw another Leia. They won't throw another Leia. Like, I, I'll be surprised if they do. I'm probably, but I don't think they're going to throw us another Leia because they're, they're not prioritizing on OT figures. They're going to ca they're not going to make duplicates. They're going to work on what they're going to uh, what they're working on right now, which is the Bestman Han, hopefully, and the Bestman Luke. And after that, they're going to work on other figures, other figure lines. You know, I, I and I'm scared about the OT line because are we going to get it complete? But ah, uh, it just sucks. But I do have one of these. Mm -hmm. And this Lando Carvision might be the one where but you might want to get multiples because he's not doing well in the pre-orders. And uh, he'll become one of those niche figures where uh, once they sell out, the the pre the resale market is going to have a ball with this figure. Especially if the head scope is freaking 100%. Okay, so the OG Mandalorian for 243 sold out. I do have one in order. So I, I so I pretty much have two of these. I have one already displayed. Uh, I bought this from Don Prime, and then this one right here, the Mandalorian, uh, OG. Um, at the moment, I, the thing is, I, this figure is so awesome. I had to buy it twice, right? Uh, the, as they say, right? Uh, or um, 
The city city's so great they named it twice. And now and that was New York. The New York Big Apple. So as as far as this figure is concerned, I, I it's one of my this is the this is the character. This is the figure. This is the show. These are the creators that saved stars for me. So I had to get a second freaking Mandalorian before he sold out. Alright. Now there is a third one coming in, which is the um, Mandalorian with the blurry. And then there's talks that that Mandalorian, they might do some modifications to that body so it can, it can so it'd be able to sit on top of that blur. Because there was a problem that Dun and the, the Nobi did in Dante's stream where he was showing off the, the spread on the Mandalorian and the legs were not giving uh, giving that much spread to make that freaking uh, seating for the blur to happen. So I'm guessing there's going to be some modifications to that uh, Mandalorian so this one might still do well in the process uh, in the resale market because uh, it's uh, the Mandalorian that's coming out with the blur is going to be a different figure slightly, just updated features. Um, I I still have one ordered and I'm I think I'm about to pay his off in a minute. All right, the next one is Moff Gideon. All right, guys, Moff freaking Gideon. Like I said before, okay, two fifty, a little bit much, but. That's the norm with when it comes to these damn uh, uh, head sculpts. And uh, the thing is, the lighting doesn't do justice for this head sculpt. But when you look at the uh, actual behind the scenes for this head sculpt, they look freaking great. And I think there's going to be another like Ray situation. Or um, not Tony Stank. Tony Stank was freaking bad. Probably going to be another Ray situation where the actual head sculpt looks a lot better in hand versus the promo picks. And still... At, at the end of the day, even if the the head sculpt for Ray in hand does look better than the promo picks, it's still not there yet. But it's still better than what we got with the prototypes. But as far as but we're talking about Moff Gideon. Moff Gideon, if they knock this one out of the park with the head sculpt, this figure is gonna sell crazy resale wise. Because not many people are pre ordering this. Alright? Not many people want to pre order this, and unfortunately it's not gonna happen. But dudes this freaking Moth Gideon, man. It's going to be another Krennic. I'm telling you, it's going to be another Krennic. I've got four of these Death Trooper Mandalorians right now on my display with my Krennic. So, this is going to be another pose for him as well. So, damn. He looks freaking amazing. And this is what I'm saying, guys. If they deliver us the Darksaber light up for Mando, for Season 2 Mandalorian uh, with the swoop bike, take my money. Like, you can throw all the accessories you want on that freaking figure. I'll take it. I know there's no head sculpt yet. Hopefully there is a Pedro Pascal head sculpt. That figure will be bonkers. Like, I can see a $700 price tag with the swoop bike, the head sculpt, and all the accessories. $700 easy. Alright, so let's uh, let's go to the next one. Wait, what's this? Captain Frickin' Rex, baby. Um, Captain Frickin' Rex, you guys know he uh, has been doing so well in the pre-order list. Um, he's gonna he's gonna be he is one of the favorites and also you could pair him up quite well with Cody pair him up quite well with the old gang Anakin Skywalker and Kenobi and Captain Rex and this deluxe literally this set, this set is literally a deluxe set with all the accessories you're getting I'm surprised you get all the accessories and what's the price tag 255 yeah that's a that's pretty much the price for a deluxe set that's pretty much the price for a deluxe set and with the head sculpt, so you're getting more more money for your buck with 255. Okay, with this freaking head sculpt, it's freaking amazing. Okay, because and I get the helmets are great, the head sculpt is great. This figure literally broke the internet when it first came out, bruh, bruh. And with how well they did are doing with the Tomorrow Morning head sculpt, but all the applications have been doing it for different figures. This is freaking a money pit for collectors, man. Wow. I got two of these, mind you. I got two of these. Because what I'm doing is I'm going to have one uh, for the Clone Wars shelf and then one for the Revenge of the Sith shelf. So that's what I want to work. I, I also want to have one with the head sculpt and one with the helmet. Kind of like what I did with the Cody. Well, one one has the helmet and one has the head sculpt. I'm using the other head sculpt for Cody on Boba Fett, my ESB Boba Fett. And then the oh my god twenty. I'm gonna say what time we're 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 pushing here. Twenty four freaking minutes already. Okay, guys, we we got this, guys. We got this. All right, the Mandalorian and Child Deluxe set. Now I only have one of these, 
I only have one of these, and rightfully so, because uh, the, if you're going for the Lux set for Mandalorian Child, you, if you're going for the Mandalorian Child set, you got to go for the Deluxe. I'm getting all the accessories for this price. Uh, I remember this was 305 when it first came out at Sideshow, and then Sideshow added 10 more dollars to it for 315. They knew how well this was selling. They were like, nah, let's let's put a little bit more. But it's all good. I threw in some coupons. It's fine. But bruh, this accessory set is freaking beautiful. And also, with the new accessory set that came out with Grogu, this will pair up so nicely with it. And I, I love everything that came out with this freaking figure. It looks freaking amazing. Oh my god, this is going to be so cool. I can't wait to get this. I'm almost paying off with this. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm a little slow with getting my figures done. Because I have so many that I, I'm prioritizing on other figures to finish off. You know, But yeah guys, uh, the Mandalorian Child Deluxe. I think this is probably going to sit for a minute. Because um, like I told you before, nearly 20,000 pre-orders on this. And Hot Toys keeps pushing these out from HK. Like, literally, there's still batches coming out from HK. And people are buying them up and selling them on eBay for twice the amount because they're not reaching here. Now they're just getting shipped out now. So, that's the thing. That's 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 how much money Hot Toys is making from this damn figure, right? Like, they're ma still making batches. Now, will this resell well in the market? I don't think so. After what I've been hearing, they, they've made so much the reason why they made so much is because people are buying more of these. So this is going to be a harder limited uh, figure because there's so many of them in the market. It, it might take some time before it starts hitting some good resale. Maybe that first blur, uh, blurge in the very beginning when it finally sells out. But at the end, but it's already re doing resale market right now because the because there's, it's not available yet at, the, at our local stores or our local sites that we usually buy our toys from. It's only available now in HK because it's coming from the source. But in the long run, I think because uh, everybody's getting one, you know. But but if the Mandalorian and, and Child Season 2 comes out, Deluxe Edition, with all those accessories and the head scope I mentioned, with $700, now that one's going to be a limited figure. Because not many people are going to drop two Iron Mans for Mandalorian even, since they already have this. So that's something you got to consider. <laughs> The IG-11. Now, I know, guys, this is back up in pre-order. This got waitlisted, but don't play games with the IG-11. Especially with how many sales have been going for this figure because of the damn speeder bike. And people want to use the IG-11 for the speeder bike. If this sells out, I don't know, maybe Hot Toys is waiting for this to sell out completely from everywhere else before they drop the quill. Because maybe there is a two-pack quill available with IG-11. I can see them pulling those strings, bro. With all these freaking freaking two-packs, I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped the quill uh, later after this sells out completely with the two-pack IG-11. So you get the pretty much kind of like a bull fit situation where you get the, the quill, uh, just the collector edition version, just the regular version, and then the deluxe set choice is the two-pack. With the food tray and everything. That we should have gotten for freaking Short Trooper. I'm still mad about that Hot Toys. Luke Skywalker Snow Speeder Pod. I do have this uh, up for pre-order. Um, uh, like I said before. That one of the reasons why a lot of people are mad about this figure. Is because it's Return Jedi Head Sculpt. They're just using Return Jedi Head Sculpt. With a different uh, hairdo. And that's it. Now, you do get a lot of good accessories with this figure and, you know, different um, playmat sets and all that jazz. But at the end of the day, uh, um, I, I do understand the hate for this figure because it's Return of Jedi Head Sculpt. I do hope that the reason why they chose for Luke Skywalker Return of Jedi Head Sculpt is because this figure is so off for release. They still got time to work on a brand new head sculpt for this. Hell, if we got the Gamora the way she she is, I could see them put the same work for Luke Skywalker. Hopefully, it does happen. Like if you compare the Gamora season, uh, uh season Gamora Volume Two prototype to the uh, final products, it's amazing the transformation. And they, all they gotta do is just tweak the head sculpt a bit and 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 pretty much call it a day and do not make it look like a damn Return of Jedi head sculpt. 
Which I'm, I am very, I am very scared about the Mandalorian Luke, because all they, the all they need to do to make a quick sale, is just change up the robe, make it black, give it a freaking Grogu, maybe give it a R two D two, and just keep the damn head sculpt the way it is from Return of the Jedi, even though it, it's look, he looks completely different in this damn show. I, I, I don't, th I don't think they're gonna do much with that damn head sculpt. Come on, why would they? The 501st Battalion Clone Trooper Deluxe Set. Now, I am getting five of these, all right? And then the Collector Edition, I am just going to get the one right here. The one right here, the, the one Collector Edition. The, the, now, the Collector Edition does come with... This is what you get. The Collector Edition uh, comes with the freaking minigun. comes with the, 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 the sand, the, the sand um, backpack, the, the carrying backpack. Two different helmets... Uh, from phase one and phase two, and then you get the regular uh, the regular five hundred first helmet. I'm getting five of these, and then I'm getting one of the regular edition uh, because of the box set. I want just one that just one box set that looks pretty much of the five hundred first, and then because the five hundred first looks freaking amazing, bruh. This broke the internet as well when it first came out. I think this came out with Ahsoka the same night, from what I remember. I think they came out the same night. And still, guys, wow, it is freaking amazing. The reason why I'm so, f I'm, I'm getting so many of these. Like, I'm not going to get that many clone troopers for the, um, for the 212 or any other, uh, other gang. Except for the, the Galactic Marines. I might, I might go heavy on the Galactic Marines because the way they look. It's look freaking amazing. Especially with the mini, again, they're, they're pretty much per the purple, uh, purple colored uh snow troopers and it'll be great to have them lined up with bakara so commander bakara but as far as uh 501st is concerned the reason why i want to get so many of these because i want to line them up with my dark side anakin as they're you know marching up the jedi temple and i have so much respect for these guys because everybody else sneak attacked the jedis right but these guys on uh, pretty much open night okay and uh, like, like they just without no surprise like you, you literally could see them marching up the Jedi Temple they literally had the balls to follow freaking Anakin Skywalker up there and then go to toe with Jedi's front full frontal assault right and wow these guys are freaking amazing you know the 501st are the Jedi killers and I have so much respect for them compared to any other clone trooper because they all you know did a sneak attack these guys didn't have no sneak attack they just that marched up slowly to, to engage against the freaking Jedis. Freaking hell. These are freaking badasses. Okay, the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike Deluxe. I like to call the Deluxe Edition. I'm getting two of these because I need one with the with the Scout Troopers messing around with Grogu. And then I have... Messing around, punching Grogu. And then I, I, I want to have one where IG-11... And Grogu are pretty much on the speeder bike, you know, saving the day. I want that pose so well. I'm tempted to get another IG-11 because I would like to keep one like that. But the thing is, it looks like, uh, from what I've been reading, it's die cap pieces for the IG-11. So they consider that for the legs. So the legs can last a lot longer in those poses. Because those poses does tear apart the IG-11. So I'm getting two of these. Uh, I did drop about hundred dollars on a scout trooper and speeder bike, and I'm, I'm looking and I and I drop another hundred dollars on the second one. Um, I'm excited about this. Um, I, I love getting my vehicles, and I'm hoping that Hot Toys does drop us the uh, speeder bike from Return of Jedi. If not, this will do just fine. Ahsoka Tano. All right, guys. So I had to get this. I had to get this because I'm going to pose her up with my Darth Maul. And uh, it's going to be a, a lot of fun from Clone Wars. Bad a lot for, uh, for supremacy against each other. Um, and Ahsoka Tano, she, she kicked ass and took names, man. She was trained. This is the Ahsoka Tano that was trained by Anakin Skywalker and freaking Kenobi. So... Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun to have in my collection. And she's the very first Ahsoka. So that's a lot of people don't, don't understand. I know people cancel this because they want the live action Ahsoka. But at the end of the day, this is the first Ahsoka. And it's good to have the first figures. You know, It's always good to have the first figures of any character. This is the first figure from Hot Toys 
for Ahsoka Tano. The Anakin Skywalker and Stop Strap <laughs> Special Edition. So I know the sales had not been great for this one because it's a Clone Wars Anakin. You know, not be, be, you can tell the Clone Wars figures had not been doing so well unless you're a freaking Rex or a Clone Trooper. But ah, uh, I think people are waiting for Kenobi to drop, General Kenobi to drop before they they hop on this because they're because honestly the people uh for that are hunting for anakin are going for the original anakin skywalker return uh like revenge of the sith regular edition then revenge of the sith uh dark side anakin which i had the dark side anakin and i don't mind picking this up because this will be my light side this is my general my hero anakin skywalker i, I, I did not like the light side anakin in um or the regular anakin from revenge of the sith he just got so uh, like uh, he didn't do nothing. The only thing he did was kill Count Dooku with that with, with that look. But the Dark Side Anakin though, Vader. That's my Vader figure right there, baby. And then this one right here is my hero, Anakin Skywalker, the General Kenobi, yeah, General G General Skywalker. And also that staff. I can't say no to the freaking staffs, man. I can't say no to vehicles. I just can't say no. I'm just getting one. Just getting one of these. And uh, where am I? Uh, I? I lost. Okay. Uh, my eyes are getting wild right now. Okay. The Child Life Size Edition. I have one ordered. Um, I haven't paid it off yet. I'm still trying to figure out if I need to pick this up. Because I don't know if Hot Toys is going to, uh, you know, recall this. Because there's been a lot of issues with the actual neck portion. I know uh, it's it's Hot Toys' fault, or is it the the buyer's fault, or is it the climate is in, or maybe uh, okay. Zach mentioned in a, one of the Nobi streams that the mouth keeps opening. People keep playing around opening, and closing it, and it's creating this heat under the chin, which creates that freaking scratch. Maybe that's the issue. Uh, I don't know. It this is hurting me. Uh, trying not to uh, like. I have this ordered, but I'm kind of scared. So well, at the end of the day, if I do get it, if I do get it ordered and it comes in broken, I could just send it back, get a replacement, or get a refund because this is an issue that is progressive, progressing. Okay, it's is becoming more and more frequent. So I don't know if Hot Toys is going to do something about it, but either way, I love everything that came out about this figure. Like these aren't the actual. Uh, photos of the final pro product but they're pretty damn close and um, I, I already love the videos um, the, the, the only, one of the reasons why I did go for this one versus the statue is because how so damn cute this figure is I just, ah, god I can't wait to get this alright so what's the next one the Mandalorian and Blurg I think we already mentioned this uh, a while back for the OG Mandalorian the Mandalorian and Blurg figure guys if you guys have not picked up the Mandalorian Blurg, or picked up the Ma oh, if you have not picked up the Mandalorian just yet, this is one of the figures that uh, you might want to get for a two pack. The reason why I'm getting this is because one, I want the Blurg, and two, um, I, the box is gonna be freaking amazing with this two pack. Now a lot of people are saying, you know, uh, Quill deserved that two pack with this, and rightfully so. But I think they put these out first to boost up the sales and see how the market is. But also, they're still waiting on licensing for Quill. So once that goes, we're going to get the Quill out and maybe a two-pack with IG-11 and then throw it. And then the Blurg is going to be in here, you know, already, the, the 312. If once we get that Quill, I might get another Blurg. Because I'm thinking of just getting one and just put the blur, put the Quill on top of one of the Blurgs. But I don't know. It is going to be taking a lot of real estate. There is the word I was looking for. Taking up a lot of real estate. 20 inches tall with Mandalorian and almost 20 inches uh, long uh, from from nose to tail. Or 15 inches. I can't remember. I know it's going to be a long... It's, it's, it's a long figure. It can't fit in the damn detail. But my displays can't fit it. So I, I'm fine with that. Okay, so I think that was the Mandalorian blurb right here. But yes, the 555... Ugh, eh, it, it hurts a little bit, but I use my points, so it doesn't hurt that bad. And let me see. I got a lot of points. <laughs> All right. So Stormtrooper Commander. This is the perfect army building figure right now. And it's doing well in, in the pre-orders because people are looking at it like this is perfect army building. 101 right here. This is 
Modern, modern, uh, Army Building 101. 220, and you can remove the damn pauldron to create the Rogue One look. Because this is the, literally the Rogue One figure. And I, I could definitely see the Rogue One figure pretty much coming out pretty soon. That's the one right there. Just a regular Rogue One uh, figure. Now you can tell there is weathering on the belt compared to different weathering here. It's a bit browner here on the Rogue One clone trooper versus the clean commander, uh, commander stormtrooper with the scratches here. So the diff there's different weatherings. You can tell. So I'm guessing there might be another release from the from this figure over here. So the, 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 the regular grunt uh, stormtrooper and I could definitely see that happening with the e-web cannon come on throw in that e-web cannon I need that in my freaking life but 220 is perfect I throw a coupon I'm go I, ju I just ordered two of these for now and I might get two more depending on what happens with that e-web cannon if Hot Toys drops the e-web cannon with a stormtrooper or two stormtroopers with that e-web cannon I'm calling it a day I'm taking two of these and then getting one of those. So, we'll see. Alright, so Bo-Katan. Okay, so I, I know a lot of people have their gripes about the Bo-Katan, the way she looks. There's still time for Hot Toys to work on the head sculpt uh, for, the, for the prototype. But I, I, I like it for the, for the most part. I think they, they gotta do... A, uh, gotta clean it up just a tad bit. But other than that, this figure looks freaking amazing. Oh my god, I love Bo-Katan. I know people don't like her because they've not watched the shows with her you know so there's not much love for this figure and that's why the pre-orders are low with her as well but she was high uh, for a minute but come on it's death watch come on bo katan is one of my favorite characters she was a day one pre-order for me and i can't wait to pair her up with uh mandalorian din Djarin. now it'd be pretty cool if they uh if they do pair her up actually in the show because it makes sense she's a duchess he's uh he has become Mandalore uh, pretty much because of that, because of winning the the blade. That's in order for her to gain, you know, you know, gain her, you know, not control, but her, you know, her right to rule Mandalore alongside uh, Din Djarin. She she might decide to, you know, um, marry Din Djarin. And there's that chemistry there, you know, they they're both warriors and stuff like that. It might work. It might work. But yes, guys. Um, this figure looks, the, uh, overall, the figure looks amazing. I know a lot of people are complaining about the head sculpt, but the head sculpt, for me, is fine. I, I think they can work on chisel it up just a dab bit, like, thin, like not chisel, but um, slender it up a bit, which I think Hot Toys will do well. Because look what look what they did with Gamora, okay? So, and also they call her John Cena. I don't see it, but it's whatever. I only got one of these. But she is not doing well in the pre-orders, so you guys might consider getting a second one, you know, for trade bait. Especially when the, the freaking movie comes out. Well, not the movie, but also there is a Mandalorian movie and another season coming out. So, we shall see. Ray and Dio for $243. Now, you are getting an extra, extra hilt. So, you gain the Leia hilt. You get, I think you're getting an extra Anakin Skywalker hilt. You're getting the the wraps for uh, the red wraps that came with the lightsabers. And you're getting a third hilt, which is uh, Ray's yellow lightsaber. That being said, we're getting so many freaking accessories with this figure for $243. This is literally a $260 price tag on this figure. Now, I am getting, I am finally getting this because of those accessories. The head sculpt, however, I know there's issues with the head sculpt. A lot of people say it looks better in hand, which is, it does look better in hand. But it's not there yet. I do agree on that. The, the head sculpt is not there yet as far as the, the likeness of, of, of Ray. But look what happened to this head sculpt right here. Okay? We did good. Hot Toys did better than this damn prototype here. If they gave us this, I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. That was bad. That's what stopped me from actually getting this figure because of the damn head sculpt. But because of the new head sculpt that they worked on, they perfected it a bit more. It's not as good perfected like Kylo, but it'll, it will do. And especially those accessories, come on. And also the fact, guys, the, the big fact is not many pre-orders came for this figure. So, I, of course, they cut down on the work on the head sculpt because they didn't want to put any more money in the damn uh, Ray figure. 
you know, after what happened with this damn franchise. And also, um, there were no pre-orders. No one pre-ordered this. And I know there's people out there saying, no, I'm not a day one pre-order. But you may have to consider day one pre-ordering. But that th that's the thing, though. Yeah, there you, the pre-orders should not dictate how many figures, you know, dictate the work that Hot Toy is working on or how many figures we get. But at the end of the day, they're a business and they're, they're looking to make money, okay? So they, they've grown into this business where they, they, they got to prioritize what they're freaking working on as far as figures are concerned and what's doing well in the market. Like, and some sacrifices have to be made and Ray was one of those sacrifices. But either way, I, I do like the head sculpt and I do like the accessories they gave us. So... I'm not disappointed, uh, as much as many people are. <laughs> now, I will be disappointed if uh, Jango Fett does not get his boy freaking Mace Windu up in here. Because I need Hot Toys to drop us the Mace Windu so I can pose, his mu pose my boy up with him for the fight. Okay? Uh, and, man, for the price of, let me see, 285 Yeah, this is pretty much the deluxe set right here. You get so many damn accessories with the damn figure, man. It's not even funny. It's not even freaking funny. Like with the jetpack, the the the, the, propulsion, the propulsions here. Wow, they did so much to Django Fett. And I'm surprised how, uh, surprised that you know that many peers are in this for that. I think it's because this doesn't come out till next year of 20, 2022, March 2022. I think the... Uh, I'm hoping that uh, the pre-orders get boosted up because this figure can be a limited figure. I can see this happening, you know? I can see this figure becoming a limited figure because the pre-orders weren't that great for it. But I, I don't know. Maybe Hot Toys is working on um, more batches for these. But we'll, we shall see. I'm only getting one. I might get two for for trade bait. But uh, one for now. One for now. And for those of you who want to uh, buy more of these, this, this is Daddy Django. This is the dad of the clone troopers. Dad of Boba Fett. Come on. <laughs> this is the way. All right, Ahsoka, Tano, and Grogu. This is such a controversial figure. Because at the end of the day, what is DX about this figure? What is DX about this figure? You know, the accessories are in DX. Uh, maybe the Grogu is articulated, which is which, which could be pretty cool if the Grogu is articulated. But I don't think it is. But it does say it is articulated. Then we got the... Uh, it looks amazing, though. Not gonna lie, the Ahsoka looks freaking amazing. It looks like damn Ahsoka. Uh, but the accessories, the deluxe accessories, and all that jazz compared to the the, the DX that we got before. Uh, this this was an okay release, you know. But I feel like this didn't need a DX because there's there are uh, figures out there that did get the rolling eyes or the, the purse systems that weren't DX. So I, I feel like. Um, I feel like a bit cheated by calling it a DX because they could they could have thrown in the the Joker DX the 3.0 or thrown in the Din Djarin DX you know throwing in something else that you know why does Ahsoka but either way um, I am I, I am getting one I, I no what, I, what I'm saying getting one I'm getting two I'm getting the Ahsoka Tano and now I'm getting the Ahsoka Tano and Grogu DX because uh, the reason why I'm getting two of these because the the because the DX doesn't come with the regular base for this figure. It does not come. It just comes with the deluxe base. So let me show you this real quick. I think the uh, the regular version is here. There you go. The regular version's base comes with kind of like a little uh, water display in the front. So that's what I like about it. There you go. You see it? That's pretty cool. The, the whole water display right here, I'm liking that. I'm liking that uh, it kind of reminds me of what happened in, during that battle uh, where she had on that planet, you know? So when she was facing off against Grand Emerald Thrawn's um, liege or uh, 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 um, uh, 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 second command, not second command, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, his creator of weapons. I forgot, I forgot uh, what was her name. But I love this base, though. That's the reason why I might get two. Again, again, I might get. I, I, I'm working on. I'm already got the Ahsoka and Grogu DX, but then I want to get this Ahsoka for just for posing action, because I want to keep uh, keep one Ahsoka, you know, displayed normally, and then one for some posing action, which this one calls for it. 
So that's the reason why. I know, I know, I know. You guys know the reason why I want to get two of these, not because of the base itself, but because it's Seema's arms. So if I want to, I want to play around with one figure with the, uh, with the, with the action with posability. Uh, I'm gonna have to get another one because those arms will get destroyed over time and deteriorate. You know, with m more of the posing you do, it's gonna end up like the damn um, uh, Grogu with the neck or. Uh, uh, or or freaking uh, Wonder Woman uh, with the Seema's arms. Uh, the more posing you were working on her, the more it just deteriorated the armpits. It was it was just annoying. It was freaking annoying. But all right, guys, two more. The last two. I know, freaking fifty minutes in. Oh my god, I, I I haven't even worked on the damn Marvel stuff. So that's gonna be another freaking talk later down the line. Damn. So Darth Maul, I am getting this. I'm I actually canceled on my solo mall to get this. Cause at the end of the day, I, I you are still getting the same head sculpts. And the reason why I'm getting this, I, I get this over the solo mall because um the the original Darth Maul is good it's good enough for me. And this one, however, this will go great with my Clone Wars Ahsoka. So that's fine. That's fine. And also, I can play around with the course on guards. So, this is going to work. I, I need Ahsoka to work uh, to play around with my Dark Maul as far as posing is concerned. So, I'm fine with this. And I do like the fact that they turned the body. Like, there's no Seema's arms or anything. So, that's fine with me. So, this this figure is going to be freaking awesome. I, I can't wait for this figure. The only thing I know people were complaining about were the freaking legs. But the legs are pretty much accurate to the film. And the look is the, the show. I meant the show. It's pretty much accurate to the show. And th and this is the Clone Wars Darth Maul. And I can't wait for Savage. That would be a great figure to pair this up with. I don't know if they're going to do another Darth Maul from the Clone Wars. But Savage could be a nice one to add to the collection with this Darth Maul. And I can see this figure rising up in price later. Because the thing is, not many people are going after this. So once it sells out, this is an accessory figure to Savage. Or an accessory figure to Ahsoka, you know, for Clone Wars. So, and also Darth Maul's look like they've done well in the resale market, anyway. So, you know, follow that trend. This one will probably do well in the resale market once it sells out. And not many people pre-ordered this. So, all right, to end things off, the freaking Dark Trooper. Wow, for two sixty, not much room to army build, but I understand why because. How massive this figure is! And it's a brand new body, brand new works. Probably gonna have some diecast pieces in the arms and the legs, but bruh, this figure is freaking beautiful, man. And I could see that the pre the pre orders aren't great for this, but I could see the pre orders rising up just because of the damn freaking Luke Mandalorian Skywalker baby right here, my boy right there, saving the freaking day, man. Once this drops. These guys are going to go, you know, higher up in the pre-order list, pre-order tier list. And what I want is I want to get three. Three. I, I, I'm going to start with two and work my way up to three. And um, the reason why I don't want to go over three, I don't even want to go over two. Because what if Hot Toys decides to turn these into a die-cast versions for the next season? Maybe these become more... Uh, more Abundant through the show. Like, remember, uh, Gideon Moff Gideon did, did tell Din Djarin that he already grabbed the blood and he probably sent it out right to do Grand Admiral Thrawn. And he's already creating an army of freaking Dark Troopers. And remember, the Dark Troopers were winning. They were literally winning against Din Djarin. And like, Din Djarin had so much trouble with one. Can you imagine a freaking platoon like freaking Moff Gideon said? So imagine a freaking army of the freaking dark troopers against the mandalorians that's gonna be one hell of a fight now for a jedi is no problem you know but oh my god that season's gonna be freaking epic what if grogu comes in because the thing is grogu he's only 50 years old right another 50 years he's gonna start training jedis well not training jedis but he he should be able to be training jedis at the level of luke because uh in the original lore of uh yoda at 50 years old, he was already training Jedis. Can you imagine Grogu at 100 years old, able to to go toe to toe against uh, uh, against Dark Troopers, and going and um, you know 
uh, assisting Luke Skywalker or his daddy, Din Djarin. But yeah, guys, I'm getting two of these for now, and I'm working on getting three. I'm going to do my best to try and seal up my pre-orders as quickly as possible because these figures have been low in the pre-order list. And you can work with three. You know, you get two side by side and get a third one uh, to battle against Mandalorian and Luke or a third one with uh, Din Djarin. You know, there's different ways to work at it. I would love to do this right here. Get the freaking squad of six of these for the whole way. But I, I can't do that because I don't want to see myself uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, getting hit by another Dark Trooper set that's die cast. I hate when Rocky Funkle said that, man, because he, he, he gave me freaking anxiety. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that's all we have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below about how many how many of these figures are you getting? Which ones are you skipping? Which ones are you are you do are uh, which ones are your do's? Which are your do nots? And how many are you getting? Which ones are you are army pre army building? So, like I said before, like that's pretty much my setup. What I'm army building already, and how many I'm getting. The reason why I'm hitting, getting two or three. So, like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And pretty much, guys, uh, we do have our live streams on Wednesdays and Sundays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Sometimes I have a live stream on Tuesdays, but it's uh, kind of like su surprises or something I want to talk about. Maybe a uh, new figure pops up, you know, I sometimes do a live stream on, on Tuesdays on the same time. But pretty much Wednesdays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Sundays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. But also, we also do a live stream at uh, Aries uh, 6 Hill Cantina. Um... Uh, at, on Saturday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. as well. And also, we do have uh, Dom Prime, uh, Ares, Dante sometimes when he's able to pop up, and uh, a few others, you know, Denobi as well, uh, for our Wednesday stream. So hopefully um, uh, they'll be able to pop up for this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. And as always, guys, I'm yours truly, the Nate Bicer. And remember, I'm just a simple man trying to make our way in the Hot Toy universe. Take you guys and may it forward with you.